new stuff. At SOE, we've been doing this for over 10 years. We've been defining what MMO gaming is, trying new things, going where other people have not. I am proud to announce today our next generation MMO engine called Forge Lite. Now, Forge Lite is what we're making Planetside 2 with. Forge Lite is what we're making EverQuest next with. And we're really super proud of it. So, what is Forge Lite? What does it mean for you? Well, first and foremost, massive seamless worlds. Now, seamless might be a new word for EverQuest, but it's an important word. When we launched the original EverQuest, uh, it would, it, we wanted so badly to make that game seamless. We still do. The same with EverQuest 2. No more zones. We're done with zones. This is seamless on a level that you've never seen before. We have an amazing graphics engine built right into this thing that is one of the most powerful graphics engines you're ever going to see. It's got real-time radiosity. Now, when I'm talking about this, what does that mean to you? It means as you're seeing lights moving around in this world, they'll interact with each other. They'll interact with the shadows. And I'm going to show you this in a little bit here in, in a new game we've got. Now, a lot of you will also wonder, that's great. Is it going to bring my computer to a crawl? I know none of you really have that concern, right? Um, well, the answer is no. It's designed from the ground up to scale, to go with a five-year-old computer all the way up to the computers that are going to come out tomorrow. It's got advanced atmospheric scattering. Now, what does that mean? It means some of the coolest atmospheric effects you've ever seen. If you're a druid and you cast a rain spell, and you see some clouds coming in, you'll see the sunlight filtering through those clouds, and you'll see particles on the ground. It's utterly unbelievable. Volumetric fog. I know, tech buzzwords. What does this mean to you? It means that you're going to see these beautiful sunbeams coming in through the windows in an environment. Advanced ambient occlusion. What does that mean to you? Well, it means that you get objects shadowing each other. It's really beautiful to see. We have complex shaders built in. And again, for you, what that's going to mean is some of the most beautiful effects that you've ever laid your eyes on. And I'm going to show you a video in just a few minutes here that's going to show you this. Last but not, well, not last, but nearly last, advanced environmental lighting. Now, we've spent a lot of time in this engine building really, really deep gameplay enhancing features. So advanced environmental lighting means that when you cast that fireball, it's going to be a fireball. And you're going to see it from miles away. We've also built in real-time physics system. Now think about that, EverQuest players. Think about a physics system built into every single aspect of your gameplay. And we partnered with NVIDIA and their amazing physics engine. Now, what does this all mean? It means that we can make some of the most amazing looking characters and environments ever seen before in an in MMO or a single player game. In fact, instead of talking about it, why don't I show you? That is EverQuest Next. Notice how expressive the face is. One of the biggest things we want to bring to MMOs is emotion. We want you to be able to convey emotion to each other when you're playing. We don't want a blank face on your characters. We want your characters to reflect who you want them to be. We're not going to be showing you a whole lot of EverQuest next here. I'm sorry about that, but as Dave said, we've got some good things in store. We're not trying to make the game that everybody expects us to make. 
We're trying to make the game that you want, and you're going to demand it when you see it. And we will have a lot more information coming out. But I wanted you to at least see a little bit of what we're doing with it. You can see why it's taken us a while. We want perfection. To talk a little bit more about the physics, I would like to bring up Brian Harvey from NVIDIA. Hey, thanks. It's been, uh, it's been, NVIDIA's been partnering with uh, Sony Online now for about, uh, since the beginning, EverQuest. It's been 10 plus years. And uh, when we originally heard about uh, Sony moving over to the Forge uh, light engine, NVIDIA was extremely excited about the opportunities and where uh, Sony was going with the engine. One of the things we thought is, hey, why not, we part why not partner with Sony uh, to implement physics in the Forge light engine? And to us, it's really exciting at NVIDIA because what that means is we, we are helping Sony take the games that they're creating to the next level. And to us, it's extremely exciting because not only are you guys creating great graphical content, but you're also taking advantage of in-game physics. What, that's, what that means to game, gamers is uh, ragdoll physics, uh, characters interacting with the environment. And who doesn't love to see a character fall off after they're being shot against a rail or something like that, falling onto the ground and interacting with the environment. Also, vehicle physics, uh, as a character is driving around, characters bumping around in a vehicle. It's always stuff that helps create the illusion or this immersive environment. And uh, later on down the road, uh, destructible environments. To us, it means creating this environment where people can actually interact with the game. It just helps the overall gaming experience, in our opinion. And uh, one of our engineers is working pretty closely with your engineers to ensure that, uh, in the end, gamers have the best uh, experience possible. And one of the things I uh, should say is that uh, while physics is integrated into the game, it works on all hardware. And uh, what that means is people with NVIDIA hardware has a, a better scalable experience, but uh, it does work uh, across uh, multiple hardware manufacturers. Uh, with that said, we're just incredibly excited to be a part of this development, and uh, we look forward to many years of uh, partnerships. So think about that. Think about what physics means in an MMO. We've only broken the surface with DC Universe Online. Think about what that means in a fantasy game. Think about what that means in a first-person shooter. Think about destructible environments. Think about that and how awesome that would be in a fantasy MMO or in a FPS. We're seeing some great stuff out of some non-MMO, or non-FPS, or excuse me, non-MMO makers, Battlefield 3 and some other great games. 